Hello. Hi, it's Linda, Linda Dolkey, and I am coming to you from my craft room this afternoon here on a very sunny, beautiful day uh, on the east coast of Australia. So um, I live on the central coast and it is a really beautiful area. We're about an hour, if you don't know this already, an hour or so north of Sydney, an hour and a half. And, um, and it's just, it is a beautiful place to live. So we have access to Sydney, so we can go down there and do things that, um, that people might like to do if they lived in Sydney. But um, we also have the lovely clean air and the beaches and uh, the bush here that um, maybe some of the Sydney siders would like to get out to see. So, um, so we kind of have the best of both worlds. Um, I thank you for joining me this afternoon. I can see a couple of people are here. Um, I've actually just turned off the air conditioning just so that it's easier to hear me. Um, so I'm not going to do a long video because it will very quickly warm up in this room. Hello, hi there. <laughs> Better put my glasses on so I can see who's saying hello. How about that idea? Couldn't find my regular glasses, so I had to go looking for these. Sorry, I'm a little late too. I had a couple of technical problems setting up. And um, hi, Cheryl, how are you? You're in Melbourne. Are you going to New Zealand? Are you going to Auckland in April? Um, our, for those who don't know, we have our big Stampin' Up! three-day uh, convention, which is basically three days of stamping, friends and fun. So um, I think that's fantastic. <laughs> and um, it's not that far. In fact, um, I know a lot of people were put off by the fact that it's um, overseas this time, but you know, New Zealand is kind of overseas and it kind of isn't. It's still, it costs about the same to go to New Zealand as it has done in the past to go interstate for other conventions. So, um, so that's pretty cool. But um, it's very exciting. I'm looking forward to it. I've got my accommodation booked. And hi, Sim. How are you going? <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this in the holder. And I'm just going to show you a couple of very simple things today. I did have a request from somebody. Was it Carolyn? I'm trying to remember who um, who asked me to show how to do the swipe stamping, which I did last week as my technique class. Um, we did three really lovely projects. Um, there's I've got some examples of it here I'm going to show you. So I'll put the phone in the holder and you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, hi there, Karen. How are you? Nice to see you. Um, okay, so I'm going to pop this in and we'll see how we go. Give me a second. You get to look at my ceiling for a moment. Okay, can you see that all right? Some bits and pieces around, but nice little blank canvas, empty space down here. Okay, so um, basically what we're doing here is um, first of all going to show you how I did these. Now here's a couple of samples. This is a lighter one. I, I'm going to put them up. Hopefully you, you can see those okay. Can you see there? I'll move them up a little higher. Um, so this, these ones, this is called swipe stamping. And basically it is just a really, really simple technique. Um, it's a great beginner's technique. So if you haven't done a lot of stamping, um, you will find this fantastic because it's really easy. Um, and if you have done a lot of stamping, um, if this is old hat to you, um, the good thing about swipe stamping is it's fast. So it, you don't need any special um, tools for it. You just need stamps, ink and paper, and it's quick and easy to do. So um, I did it in class. As you can see I've got a whole bunch of them here. <laughs> these are little, these are my ATCs. So for those of you who don't know what an ATC is, it stands for Artist Training Cards. And they basically are cards two and a half inches by three and a half inches. And they're made to fit into those same folders that the kids use to collect um, collector's cards like Pokemon cards or baseball cards. And you can get those sleeves at most game shops. But um, I use them for my classes. So when somebody comes along to a class, they get given one of those and um, every time they come to class they can put the new technique in it so every time we do a technique class there's always one of these at the start so it's like a sample the people get to practice on it before we actually go ahead and make a couple of cards so um, so yes yeah. so you can see these are all different um, some of them have darker areas in different spots this one seems to have a couple of dark swipey bits and this one has a lot darker bit this one was just after I re-inked 
so that would be that would be why and then this one is quite light because that was one I did early this was the first very first one I did and that's the lightest of all before I re-inked um, but you can see there's some different tones of color on here and it just makes it actually looks a bit like um, someone said the other day I think it was Jesse that said it's it looks like embossing paste and it does look quite effective so let's let's have a go let's do it it is very very simple um, I'm just going to, this is the same size for an ATC, but I might actually do a full card with it as well. I'm using Bermuda Bay ink. Um, Bermuda Bay is a, a fabulous colour. I love Bermuda Bay. It's probably one of my favourite colours. Uh, Twelve and a half years I've been doing this now, and I have never, ever lost my enthusiasm for this business because it's, it's, there's always something fun, something cool to, to do. So... You can see it's an old style ink pad. I actually haven't got the new ink pad yet. Just wondering if this, um, I've got a cord hanging here because I'm actually charging the battery while I'm talking to you, which is part of the reason I had the technical problem before. But if it gets in the way, um, I can I can sort of move it a little bit. So let's see how we go. Okay, so with swipe stamping, when you're starting out, what you want to do is you want to ink up your stamp as per normal. So a gentle tap on your stamp pad. Um, and then once you've got it, good and inked okay then I'm going to swipe it I'm going to actually pull it over my ink pad and if you look at the underside I don't know how if you can see this you might be able to see there's a you can sort of see the swipe in the direction there and so I'm going to hold my ink pad sorry my stamp and I'm just going to stamp straight down and I get that lovely swipey kind of a look can you see that so it's a little bit darker in places. Now, if I was to re-ink, I would get a lot more ink on there. So I'm going to do hold it in the same position and swipe in the same direction and do that one more time. And we have a very simply swiped look. Isn't that cool? So easy. Okay, like I said, you don't need any special tools, nothing that, um, that you have to go out and buy. If you've got stamps, ink and paper, you can do this and it's really effective it almost looks a bit velvety the the finish of it so let's do it actually on a piece of card and I might just cut this piece of card to size so when I'm cutting cardstock I cut them if uh, in Australia we use centimeters we also use inches we use both but um, if I was cutting centimeters a, a regular card is ten and a half centimeters across so my piece that's going to go on top is going to be ten across and it's going to be 14.4 or 14.3 and a half really or 14.4 long so a little bit different to US measurements but you get the idea okay so I'm going to do that again and we'll just make a standard card so we're going to ink it up so you ink it up first so that you don't miss patches of it when you swipe because if you just swipe without inking first um, you may miss bits and um, I guess that would give you a different look again some ink pads like this one for example you can feel them kind of grabbing as you pull it across I'm going to just keep going with that very very easy there's something very th therapeutic about just stamping don't you think I think so I think it's a wonderful thing okay there we go all right and then I've also got another stamp in the same set this set by the way for anyone who's wondering it's it's actually I'm using a wooden set and uh, I know that's uh, something you won't be seeing a lot of because after this catalog there'll be no more wooden stamps we're going to um, what they call cling stamps which are rubber stamps that go onto clear blocks and they're called cling because they have a new uh, backing on the labels on the back of the stamps that clings beautifully to the stamps so you don't have to worry anymore about them falling off the blocks um, and then of course we'll have the photopolymer stamps which are the see-through stamps that go on clear blocks so clear blocks are going to be the, the way of the future and there'll be no more wooden stamps so I'm just using for this technique you want to use um, quite a solid uh, just thinking which color will I use I'll use this one on the original I used pear pizzazz but I think I put that away. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll go with um, Call Me Clover. And it, you can feel each ink pad feels a little different. Let's try this direction. And one here. You kind of get the idea anyway, I'm 
sure you do. But they're because of the swiping, they're all different colours and different tones. And sometimes it picks up more ink around the edges, especially if it's a new pad, like this one's fairly new. And so you can see it's kind of given me an outline to that leaf there because, um, because it picked up more ink on that edge. Okay. And then in the middle here, I could put a sentiment, um, maybe pop it up on a punch or something like that. And the whole thing will end up on a piece of card, which will look rather lovely. So I'll finish that a little bit later. You'll probably see that pop up on my on my page because I think it's going to make a really nice card. Okay, so that was the first thing I wanted to show you because it was by request and I hope that answered the question that was asked. Um, I hope so. We'll see. I haven't had my lunch yet. I was out shopping earlier and I'm eating raspberries. They're so good at the moment and so cheap. Mm -mm. Anybody else love raspberries? I love them. Mm. Okay. So I do have something else I want to show you. This has just come out. This is our second release celebration items. So we had our first release, that was this one, that was full of lots and lots of cool things that you could get. The big favorites were the foil. The frogs have been popular. Um, also the butterfly, um, botanical butterfly paper has been really popular. The wooden elements, I love them. Um, I've had a few other people get them as well. The Organdy Ribbon Combo Pack, so popular, it's actually sold out. You cannot get this anymore. It just it just went crazy. Everybody wanted it. And partly because it matches the gingham papers that are in the Occasions catalogue. If you were looking to get this, I'm so sorry. It has gone. Sold out. Um, and they're probably the most popular ones in here. I mean, there's a few other things, other bits and pieces. Um, there's framelits that match the um, teapot set in the Occasions catalogue. Um, but that's a larger item, the framelits. So that would be with, um, instead of one $90 order, that one is a $180 order. So a double to get the framelits that match those. These um, have been very popular, the lasting lily. And they are distinctive stamps. So that means they give you the dark and the light. But then what they went and did on Friday was they released a second celebration offering. So these are in addition to what we already have. Um, and I will show you the others. Uh, so this one here is called All Adorned and it works really, really well with the Stamparatus. And I'll be showing you that on another occasion because it's really, really cute. I love it. Um, the Country Floral. Uh, this is one of our one of the thicker, the dynamic textured embossing folders. So the really thick ones that give you a very deep impression. Um, I'll show you that on another occasion. But what I am going to show you is these guys. So this is the Painted Seasons bundle. Okay, it's this gorgeous set of distinctive stamps. So once again, the ones that do the light, the light and the dark. Um, beautiful um, rubber stamps. These ones, and then they come with a gorgeous pack of matching paper. The paper and the stamp set are both called Painted Seasons um, and I can show them to you. They are absolutely gorgeous. On the back here is all the other things that we still have left over except don't forget the ribbons have gone. Okay so you can see I've already chopped up my pack of paper <laughs> but that's okay. That's what we do right? We love it and we chop it so that's what we do. Um, to quote uh, a very popular um, idea about cutting up your paper. So the colours in here are Call Me Clover Green, uh, Poppy Parade, uh, what else, Grapefruit Grove, there's Crumb Cake in, in these papers here. I mean, they are just beautiful. There's even like cute little mushrooms on this side here. Um, I really do like the geometric design of this screen. Um, and these, these gorgeous um, flowers look like they've been painted. They are beautiful. Um, all the early espresso brown in the middle there as well. Just thinking, oh, there's a little bit of lemon lime twist in this paper. This paper here, there's um, three sheets of each, four different designs. So um, this one actually to me looks like it could be a bit Christmassy. You could use that for Christmas, couldn't you? Because you've got pine cones and, and leaves. And to me, it's got a real Christmas feeling about it. But I do love this lovely watercolored looking pool party geometric design. I love that. I cannot wait to use it. I haven't yet, but I, don't you worry, it's coming. <laughs> I think that's beautiful. Um, and I think, yeah, this one is Poppy Parade with a little bit of the Grapefruit Grove through it. You can kind of see the different colors. So these are just beautiful. Oh, and that's an interesting one there on the back. Um, 
pool party and lemon lime twist with a little bit of the call me clover in there and there's a little bit I wonder if that might be that pink might be blushing bride did you guys know that on the backs of the paper packs it tells you what colors are in there so if I read it that would probably be a good idea uh, call me clover crumb cake early espresso grapefruit grove lemon lime twist mango melody I missed that one petal pink that was so it's not blushing bright it's petal pink pool party poppy parade pumpkin pie and whisper white okay so that tells you they're all the colors that are in this beautiful paper so I've already done a bit with them I used them the other day for a scrapbook page um, which some of you may have seen that kind of popped up on my site in fact I'll pull it out in a moment and show you um, but the stamp set that goes with this I have to reach it Ugh. Is this guy painted season so here it is again and you've got these lovely flowers you've got a great little pine cone and all that with lots and lots of detail and the light and the dark when you stamp it and then three different leaf offerings and some little I don't know these might be stars but they kind of look like they could be like little seeds or something like that so the one I've been using the most is this little guy and like I said these are cling stamps so cling means that they just they really do they cling to the blocks so let me quickly show you how you would put these together because for those of you who didn't do this previously didn't put your labels on um, it probably is a good idea to let me pick one I'll pick out the pine cone the pine cone is cute okay so what you do is you take the label off the back of the rubber stamp so you've got the foam exposed and here we can see there's the pine cone there and you want the side that is the shiny side up and halfway down there's like a, a cut across the stamp so that it's easy to peel that off without taking off the whole thing so you've left it here and then what you do is you position this I hope you don't you're going to probably get the back of my head my head I'm sorry okay we pop that right on there so it actually fits right into that shape which makes it really easy to line up so then when I take it off it brings that with it okay isn't that cool that's the right way to do them and you want to take put the labels on now because the labels are super sticky so I personally um, love that they stick so much but I have heard people say you just need to be a little careful that when you take them off the block that you are careful to lift them at one corner before you try and rip them off quickly um, you don't want to be ripping the foam off the back of your so let me so I've got a couple here this is a good size for this so I'm just going to pop it on and it's not going anywhere there's no way that will fall off in fact to get it off I will have to very carefully lift I can lift with my finger or you could use a fingernail or if you have the take your pick tool there's a, a flat ended tool on, on the on one of the ends and you can pop that under there and then lift the whole thing so they come off quite easily when you lift one edge um, but they're not going to come off by themselves which I think is fantastic there's nothing that drove me crazier than the blocks that fell off I hate that okay so I'm just gonna quickly stamp these for you so you can see how lovely they are once again measuring this at 10 centimeters wide and 14.35 to be the right size for a card frame okay so the, I'm bringing in a few colors that um, are in the paper because I do I like to do that I find that it's really easy if ever you're looking for color inspiration turn to your, your designer series paper because a lot of these have the colors written on the back for you you know those colors go together that's why they made designer series paper with it which is pretty cool all right so I'm going to do poppy parade grapefruit grove and the green is call me clover so that's what I've decided to work with and I'm just doing some simple stamping but because these are distinctive stamps they stamp beautifully and you don't need to do a lot more than just stamp really simply I'm just going over the edges a little bit go up to poppy parade and add isn't it beautiful I love those colors together goodness really really lovely okay I'm gonna do the other corner too 
and because I'm really, really lazy, I'm not even going to use my cleaner. I'm just going to take that off on there. The colours are not so much lighter that it's a problem. You can go from one into the other. Just all with one flower. How nice is that? Can you see how detailed those are? They are fantastic. Really, really lovely. And because I can, I'm going to add a little bit of green. Now I quite like, I quite like this little leaf here. I find it's quite useful. Looks nice just like over the edges of things. Just realise you might not be able to see all that. So, just as a bit of a quick and easy stamping thing, then I could stamp a sentiment of some kind there in the middle i'm just thinking looking to see if i have anything that i would want to use um stamp that i have been using a lot is this one um wishing you a lovely day because i think that's just lovely i mean it's the sort of card that i would send to a friend just because and i think it's nice to send cards just because don't you what color will i go with the red or will i go with the green you know what, I'm going to go with the green just because I can. And I use my grid paper to make sure I get my stamp nice and straight. Okay, and then we have a very, very simply stamped beautiful card. I think these are going to be popular. Now, do bear in mind that because it's a bundle, it's stamps and paper, they are a $180 purchase to get those for free. Um, but um, demonstrators were able to get them up until um, they went live to customers. And now the only way to get them, even for us, is to purchase um, $180 worth of product. But they are beautiful. And here's the thing I need to tell you. In March, next month, Stampin' Up! have decided to release a group of products which they're calling Celebration Coordination. And what that is, is they're releasing some things like framelets um, and some other bits and pieces to go with um, items that we already have in Celebration. So, for example, these, um, the Painted Seasons bundle plus the paper, next month there will also be framelets to cut these out. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Did you want to see the scrapbook page I made with these? Some of you may have seen them already, um, but it's just behind me here, so I will open that up. Just closing up all my ink pads so that I don't get ink where I don't want it, <laughs> because that's always fun, right? I just have this little window of time this afternoon. Um, my, my children have been at their fathers this weekend and um, that means that I've got to go up to the end of the freeway which is about an hour's drive or thereabouts and pick them up um, in I need to leave here in about an hour so um, let me grab these scrapbook pages for you I believe they're in here so let's see here they are So this one here, so this is um, all scrapbooking I've done with Stampin' Up! products. If you're a scrapbooker, all their stuff is lovely and everything matches. So this is the page that I did and you can see I've used that Painted Seasons paper. And also these flowers have been cut out and so have the leaves with the new framelits that are coming next month for everybody. Um, I've used some of the Poppy Parade and Grapefruit Grove paper here and some grapefruit sort of looks a bit like fireworks that paper doesn't it behind and I just thought those colors went really really well with the whole Thailand theme because these this is me and my husband getting our certificates uh, certificates after we spent a day at a Thai cooking school when we were in Phuket last year so that was pretty exciting um, and we learned to make some lovely things and he was very brave my hubby because he doesn't he um, doesn't eat seafood and of course there was quite a bit of seafood on the menu being Thai there was prawns and fish 
um, but they were so good the restaurant they let him change out for chicken or you know whatever he wanted really anything else it was a, a proper kitchen so they had everything <laughs> And uh, it was such a fantastic day. That was part of the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. I said last year, didn't I? No. No, year before, 2017. Gosh, time flies when you're having fun. Um, and I think that is all I have at the moment, scrapbooking-wise, with this. I, did, I have done a couple of projects, which you'll find here on my um, business page, with this stamp set, though. There's already been a couple. And I've also got some thank you cards going out to customers who've ordered with me. Um, online last month um, and that will also feature those um, those beautiful stamps so I'm looking forward to um, sending those out actually I've already sent some out sent some out on Friday and I've got a couple more to go on Monday so there we are well I hope you've had fun guys um, I just uh, wanted to pop in and show you those couple of little things if you are thinking of placing an order um, and it's over $90 you can still get all the previous celebration items um, let me take this out of the holder and come back. Here I am. Look, there I am. All right, so yeah, you can you can still get all the things that you could get before. Um, however, um, there's new items now as well. So there's the new folder and there's the two new stamp sets. Um, the All Adorned stamp set, um, I'll show you that one next time because that's really, really cool. It, it goes beautifully. The stamps coordinate together and you can use your Stamparatus to use those. Um, and I know lots of you have Stamparatuses, um, so you'll enjoy seeing how that works. Um, and even if you don't have a Stamparatus, it's not hard to line up online. It just means that if you have a Stamparatus, you can do lots of them really fast. Okay, well it's starting to get warm in here because my air conditioning is off so that you can hear me and um, I'm going to have to turn that back on very soon. So I probably should say bye and uh, go get myself organized to go get my kitties. Um, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday. Um, if it's not Sunday where you are, I hope it is a good one when it gets to be Sunday. Um, but have a great weekend guys and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.